The Dabawalas also spelled Dabawalas or Dabawalas, called Tiffin Wallas in older sources constitute a lunchbox delivery and return system that delivers hot lunches from homes and restaurants to people at work in India, especially in Mumbai. The lunchboxes are picked up in the late morning, delivered predominantly using bicycles and railway trains, and returned empty in the afternoon. They are also used by meal suppliers in Mumbai, who pay them to ferry lunchboxes with ready cooked meals from central kitchens to customers and back. The 2013 Bollywood film The Lunchbox is based on the Dabawala service. <inaudible> Origins In 1890 Bombay, Mahadeo Havaji Butch started a lunch delivery service with about a hundred men. In 1930, he informally attempted to unionize the Dabawalas. Later, a charitable trust was registered in 1956 under the name of Newton Mumbai Tiffin Box Suppliers Trust. The commercial arm of this trust was registered in 1968 as Mumbai Tiffin Box Suppliers Association. The current president of the association is Bao Saheb Karbande and Subhash Talikar as the spokesperson. Etymology When literally translated, the word dabawala means one who carries a box. Daba means a box, usually a cylindrical tin or aluminium container from Persian, dab while wala is an agentive suffix, denoting a doer or holder of the preceding word. The closest meaning of the dabawala in English would be the tiffin box delivery man. Workflow Lunch boxes are marked in several ways Abbreviations for collection points Color code for starting station Number for destination station Markings for handling Dabawala at destination, building and flora color coding system identifies the destination and recipient each dabawala is required to contribute a minimum capital in kind, in the form of two bicycles, a wooden crate for the tiffins, white cotton kurta pajamas, and the white Gandhi cap topi. Each month there is a division of the earnings of each unit. Fines are imposed for alcohol, tobacco, being out of uniform, and absenteeism. A collecting dabawala, usually on bicycle, collects dabas either from a worker's home or from the daba makers. As many of the carriers are of limited literacy the average literacy of dabawalas is that of 8th grade, the dabas boxes have some sort of distinguishing mark on them, such as a color or group of symbols, the dabawala then takes them to a sorting place, where he and other collecting dabawalas sort the lunch boxes into groups. The grouped boxes are put in the coaches of trains, with markings to identify the destination of the box usually there is a designated car for the boxes. The markings include the railway station to unload the boxes and the destination building delivery address. Some modern infrastructure improvements such as the Navi Mumbai Metro are not used in the supply chain, as cabins do not have the capacity for hundreds of tiffins. At each station, boxes are handed over to a local dabawala, who delivers them. The empty boxes are collected after lunch or the next day and sent back to the respective houses. The dabawalas also allow for delivery requests through SMS. Corporate culture Most Tiffin Wallas are related to each other, belong to the Varkari sect of Maharashtra, and come from the same small village near Pune. Tiffin distribution is suspended for five days each March as the Tiffin Wallas go home for the annual village festival. Economic analysis Each dabawala, regardless of role, is paid around 8,000 rupees per month about $131 in 2014. Between 175,000 and 200,000 lunch boxes are moved each day by 4,500 to 5,000 dabawalas. Tiffin wallas are self-employed. The union initiation fee is 30,000 rupees, which guarantees a 5,000 rupee monthly income and a job for life. 
The 150 rupee a month fee provides for delivery 6 days a week. 2002. It is frequently claimed that Dabawalas make less than one mistake in every 6 million deliveries. However, this is only an estimation from Ragunath Mej, the president of the Mumbai Tifamens Association in 1998 and is not from a rigorous study. Mej told Sabrata Chakravarti, the lead author of the Fast Food article by Forbes where this claim first appeared, that Dabawalas make a mistake almost never, maybe once every two months", and this statement was extrapolated by Sabrata Chakravarti to be a rate of, "...one mistake in eight million deliveries". Chakravarti recalled the affair in an interview and said, "...Forbes never certified the Dabawalas as being a Six Sigma organization. In fact, I never used the term at all. As you know, Six Sigma is a process, not a statistic." But it is commonly associated with a statistic of 1.9 errors per billion operations, and that is what caused the confusion. I was impressed by the efficiency and complexity of the process by which some 175,000 tiffin boxes were sorted, transported, delivered and returned each day by people who were mostly illiterate and unsophisticated. I asked the head of the organization how often they made a mistake. He said almost never, maybe once every two months. Any more than that would be unforgivable to customers. I did the math, which works out to one mistake in 8 million deliveries—or 16 million, since the Tiffin carriers are returned home each day. That is the statistic I used. Apparently, at a conference in 2002, a reporter asked the president, whether the Tiffinwallas were a Six Sigma organization. He said he didn't know what that was. When told about the 1.9 error per billion statistic, I'm told he said, Then we are. Just ask Forbes. The reporter, obviously without having read my story, wrote that Forbes had certified the Tiffinwallas as a Six Sigma organization. That phrase was picked up and repeated by other reporters in other stories and now seems to have become part of the folklore. The New York Times reported in 2007 that the 125-year-old Dabawala industry continues to grow at a rate of 5 to 10% per year. In 2011, Dabawalas went on strike for the first time in 120 years to promote and attend a rally by Azad Maidan to support Anna Hazare in his campaign against corruption. Topic studies and accolades Various studies have focused on Dabawalas. In 2001, Pawan G. Agrawal carried out his PhD research in A Study in Logistics and Supply Chain Management of Dabawala in Mumbai. He presented his results on the efficiency of Dabawalas in various fora. In 2005, the Indian Institute of Management Ahmedabad featured a case study on the Mumbai Dabawalas from a management perspective of logistics. In 2010, Harvard Business School added the case study The Dabawala System, on time delivery, every time to their compendium for its high level of service with a low cost and simple operating system. In 2014, Uma S. Krishnan completed her PhD research in A Cross Cultural Study of the Literacy Practices of the Dabawalas, Towards a New Understanding of Non Mainstream Literacy and Its Impact on Successful Business Practices. On 21 March 2011, Prakash Bailey Butch carried three Dabawala Tiffin crates on his head at one time, which was entered as a Guinness World Record. <laughs> 